Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on percentiles and quartiles in statistics by Simply Learn. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is percentile and how we can calculate the percentile with the formula. Then we'll move on to quartiles and we'll see what are quartiles and how we can calculate the quartiles with the help of a formula. So, without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with percentile. So what exactly is a percentile? A percentile is a term used in statistics to express how a score compares to other scores in the same data set. While there is technically no standard definition of percentile, it is typically communicated as a percentage of values that fall below a particular value in a set of data scores. Percentiles are commonly used to report values from a non-reference test. The formula to calculate the percentile is Px is equal to x n plus 1 divided by 100, where well, x is the percentile you want to calculate and n is the total number of observations. Let's understand this formula better with the help of an example. So how to calculate a percentile? Suppose you have marks of 20 students. Here we have the marks of 20 students, 89, 78, 94 and so on. The marks are scored out of 100. Let's try to find out the 90th percentile. So the first step to calculate the 90th percentile is to sort the data in an ascending order. So here we have sorted the data in ascending order from 43, 45, 45 till 97. The next step is to substitute the values in the formula. So P90 will be is equal to 90, 20 plus 1 divided by 100, where 90 is the percentile you want to calculate and 20 is the number of observations, which will come to 1890 divided by 100, which will be approx to 94. So our 90th percentile is a 94 marks in the data set. What exactly does this 94 marks signifies? P90 equal to 94 means that the 90% of the students got less than 94 marks and the 10% of the students got the marks more than 94. There is an another way to calculate the percentile. Let's see how we can do that. Suppose we want to calculate at what percentile range the 78 marks fall. So to calculate this we have the formula P is equal to small n divided by capital N into 100, where small n is equal to ordinal rank of values and the capital N is equal to total values in the data set. So substituting the values in the above formula, we get 12 into 100 divided by 20, which will be equal to 60. So this means that the 78 mark signifies the 60th percentile in the data set. Now that we have discussed the percentiles and know how to calculate the percentile, let's move on to quartiles. What are quartiles? Quartile, as the name suggests, is a statistical term that divides the data into the four quarters. It basically divides the original data points into the four quarters on a number line. The Q1, which is also called the first quartile, is the 25th percent of the data set. The second quartile, which is Q2, signifies the 50th percent of the data set. And the third quartile, which is Q3, signifies the 75th percent on the data set. The Q1 is also called the lower quartile, and the upper quartile is also called as Q3. 25 percent of all the data has a value less than or equal to Q1. Second quartile, which also the median, has 50% of all the data less than M. 75% of all the data has a value less than or equal to Q2. And the 50% of all the data lies between Q1 and Q3. If the measurement falls on the right side of the upper quartile in a set of data, then we know that it is in the top 25% of the data. If the measurement falls to the left of the lower quartile of a set of data, then we know that it is in the bottom 25% of the data. Now that we have discussed the theoretical aspect of quartiles, let's understand how we can calculate the quartiles. For this, we have taken one famous example. Let's consider that we have the petal length of rose flowers. Here we have the petal length in centimeters. To find the Q1, Q2 and Q3, we first need to sort the data in an ascending order. So when you sort the data in the ascending order, we get the following values 1.1, 1.3, 1.5, 1.6. 1 to find the m, we have two formulas. First, when the n is odd and the second when the n is even. Since here the n is odd which is equal to 15, we will calculate the median by n plus 1 by 2, which will be 16 by 2 which is equal to the 8th value in the data set. So the q2 is the 8th observation which is equal to 3.3 .3 in the data set. To find the first quartile value, we have the formula q1 is equal to n plus 1 into 1 by 4. n plus 1 because we have the n as odd which is equal to 15. 
So dividing 16 by 4, we get the value equal to 4. So Q1 is the fourth observation which is equal to 2.0. So this point is our first quartile. Now to calculate the Q3, which is the top 25% of the data set, we multiply the n plus 1 into the 3 by 4. So Q3 is the 12th observation which will come out to be 4.2. So we have our Q1 which is the first quartile 2.0, Q2 the second quartile which is also the median as 3.3 and we have the Q3 is equal to third quartile which is 4.2. So what does this point signifies? 1 by 4 or 25% of the flowers have a petal length that is less than or equal to 2.0. 50% of the flowers of the petal length that is less than or equal to 3.3 cm. 3 by 4 or 75% of the flowers have a petal length that is less than or equal to 4.2 and half which is also 50% of the flowers have a petal length between 2.6 cm and 4.2 cm. So with this we come to an end of this tutorial on percentiles and quartiles in statistics. I hope you like this video. If yes, please subscribe our channel and keep learning. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.